Hello, hello. How are you today, guys? Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? How's everything today? Is it good? It was great in my, in my case. It was great. Awesome. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, so welcome, guys. Welcome to the class once again. You know, I'm so happy that you guys are here today. And so uh, we're going to... Um, Start with a couple of things right here. And uh, okay, let me see. So if you guys remember today, we're going to start the session number, a uh, section number two. In the meantime, I want to ask, do you have any question about section number one? Any question that you have or anything that you would like to say? ¿Cómo les fue con la sección uno? Uh, ¿Tuvieron algún problema, alguna pregunta que tengan? Something you want to say or ask? No? All good? Todo bien? Todo calidad? <laughs> Muy bien. <laughs> okay. Okay. No problem. All right, guys. So let's see. Give me one second here. And uh, what I need is this right here. Okay, guys, just so you know, then today we're going to start the section number two. And I think we're, we'll we we'll, uh, kind of start, um, I was like kind of right now. Um, so it will help us a little bit, you know, so we can take advantage of the time. Okay. So um, give me a second here. It's not what I want to share. And this is all right. Okay, pretty good. Okay. So, um, Okay, so let me just share my screen right here, guys. So we can uh, we can start with this, okay? So here we go. Okay, so in section number one, what we were able to study, it was it was this part, you know, it was a bear to be, you know, which is about the last, one of the last things that we saw yesterday. So just remember uh, this information that we paired them with the subject pronouns and which are the subject pronouns, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, right? And this is how we paired them with the verb to be, right? So that is what we need to uh, remember, right? Uh, besides that, um, it was part of the speaking activity we did yesterday, you know, asking for the phone number, uh, you know, full name and all that, right? But uh, today we're going to start with a section number two. And so we have a couple of topics. Uh, and the topics that we have are what's in your bag, which is pro it's the name of the unit. But we're going to be talking about this and this. OK, we also have the just no questions and where questions would be. We already know the just no questions with a bird to be. So we should be good with that. And we also have to check something on prepositions, you know, like in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. So that is what we are going to uh, study in this section number two, okay? Um, I would like to start talking about this, guys. And one thing is that we have this section number two, uh, and that's the name of the unit, as I mentioned to you as well, what's what's in your bag, uh, or, you know, but we have a question, if I say, What's this, you know? And I show you this, and if I show you my cell phone, then you can say, it's a cell phone, right? What's this? It's a cell phone. So if I say, what's this? You can say, it's a mouse, right? So that's what it is. But you guys have to know something. We are going to be talking right now about this and this, okay? That is the pronunciation. Listen, this and this right so that is what we're going to start uh, talking about today which is a topic that i consider that we all need to um i would say uh, pay a little attention on now one little thing this is singular okay and this is plural okay so this singular this it's plural, 
So then we say we use both of them for things that are close. Close means like cerca, right? Cerca. So, for example, and something that you can have on your hand, probably. Algo que puedan tener como cerquita o en sus manos, si es posible. So that is when we use this and this. They have the same meaning. Tienen el mismo significado. It's just that this is singular and this it's plural. For example, um, let me see. All right. For example, eh, I said, what is this? You know, this, right? What is this? And then you can say it's a cell phone, right? So that's pretty much what it is. Um, but, but if I want to say or if I want to ask something in plural, then I have to use this, okay? So, are we good with that? Primero necesitamos entender eso. Esto es para singular, esto es para plural, okay? So, cosas que están cerquita, right? That's what we need to do. So, are we good on that? Yes? Are we clear? Estamos claros en eso? Yes or no? Yes. Questions? Yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, pretty good. Now, um, eh, that's pretty much what eh, what I wanted to say with that, you know, like, and uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to uh, tell you about with that eh, specific topic. Now, um, I just want to show you a video right here. I'm going to share my screen once again. And it's this one. Number one is the one I wanted to share. Okay. So, you know, if you go and if you were able to do this, uh, you know, about watching uh, the videos and starting, uh, you know, with all this right here. So that is what, uh, what you were able to see. Now, let me just play a short uh, video right here. So we can actually uh, check on this, okay? So it says, listen and practice. So I'm gonna play the audio and I need you to listen and repeat, if you can. My bad, let me just volume up this right here. Okay, here we go. Okay. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with- Can you hear that? Common objects which people yes. have in their bags. Yes, yes. We will listen to a quick audio and you should listen and repeat. An address book. A hairbrush. A wallet. Sunglasses. A CD player. A camera. Keys. A cell phone. Okay. Keys. Now, there is something else that we need to check on. And it's actually this right here. These are some objects, you know, like what's in your bag? It's like, hey, tu mochila. So then it's like, uh, well, you can have a camera, a wallet, sunglasses, CD player, a CD player, a cell phone, keys, and a camera, okay? So those are a few of the things that you can have. Now, this is what I was just explaining to you. And it was about the, um, what's actually about this, and this right that is what i was telling you um now let me just play this short video here so you guys can listen to that okay and can watch it as well these before i start explaining this topic we're going to listen to a quick audio which illustrates how this topic is used let's listen and repeat wow what's this it's a camera oh cool Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of this and these, I would like to start by explaining the following. Number one, you're going to use this, that spell out T-H-I-S, whenever you're talking about one object which is near you number two you're going to use these that spell out t h e s e whenever you're talking about two or more objects which are near you 
on a different class, I'll explain how to use that and those. So as you can see on the screen, there is a camera. And therefore, whenever we talk about one object, we're going to say, this is a camera. If we want to ask a question about a particular object which is near to us, we will ask in the following way. What's this? It's an earring. On the other hand, on the screen, you also see two cameras. And therefore, whenever you refer to two or more objects which are near from you, you will say, these are cameras. Notice that the article A from the previous example disappears because we're no longer talking about one object, but instead two or more. If we want to ask a question about two or more objects which are near to us, we will ask in the following way. What are these? They're earrings or they're cameras, for example, right? For our practice exercise, I would like for you to look at the image and practice making questions and answers. For example, what are these? They're keys. What's this? It's a CD player. You're going to do the same with numbers three, four, five, and six. After you complete your work, you should share it in our discussion forums. Okay, so that was what I was explaining to you. Now, there is one more thing that you guys need to know, and it's the use of the articles. What articles? Uh, well, I'm going to let you know right now. So when we come and we talk about articles, um, my body, give it just a second. All right, when we talk about articles, uh, we actually mean uh, two articles, and it's a and an. Okay, so that is something else that you guys need to uh, know. A and N, they mean the same thing. El significado es el mismo. They mean the same thing, okay? So, for example, I can say they are, a, I will say, sorry, my bad. Okay, there you go. All right, so A, uh, we use it with the i will say we use it and when the next word starts with the uh consonant sound okay and we use an when the next word starts with a vowel sound Okay, vowel sound is like, um, you know, I will say later A, for example, um, E, I, O, and U. Those are the vowels, right? But the consonants, uh, it's basically, you know, what I was just explaining. Uh, when I, well, what I was explaining to you. And it was a, basically the other letters. We already know the alphabet, right? And so that's pretty much what I'm trying to explain to you. For example, we can say this, this, I hate it. All right, I'll say this is Apple. Okay, cool. Now, right here, we need to use either a or an. What do you think that we can use right here? Mm -hmm. uh, it's an. An. Um, yes, an. And that will be, this is an apple. Why? Because it starts with the vowel sound. And this is the letter A. Y la E es una vocal, right? So that's why it's a vowel. That's why we need it. In other words, uh, cuando la siguiente palabra comience con sonido de vocal, vamos a usar an. Y cuando comience con consonant sound, con consonante, sería a. For example, then I have right here, this is a what? 
I'm gonna say one of the things on the on the example right here. Um, wallet, for example. This is a wallet. Okay, and so because this is a consonant sound, that's why we need to do it that way. That's why we need to do it that way. Okay. Questions so far? No? Any questions so far? Are we good with that? Alguna pregunta por el momento? Todo bien hasta ahorita? Yes? No? Hay algunas excepciones. Not really. Uh, we have to follow that rule. We we actually have to follow the rules, so we don't really have like any exception like that. Uh, hmm, but that's what it is. Now let me ask you guys: Were you able to do the uh, knowledge check? Pudieron hacer el knowledge check? Lo pudieron terminar? Sí? No? Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. 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 ¿Tienen alguna pregunta sobre eso? Eh, uh, bueno, ya vimos ahí eh, algunos objects, objetos, y acabamos de estar hablando de this y that. Uh, sorry, this and this. Si se recuerdan, les decía, this, it's actually for singular things. And this, it's plural, right? So that's what I was telling you. This, which is singular, singular and um, this it's plural right they mean the same thing significan la misma cosa okay the, it doesn't change i mean just in plural right it changes es como decir esto o esta pero ya, si sería plural sería estos o estas right so this right here but ojo that's with things that are close que están como cerca okay si es posible que son bien cerquita near us mm -hmm. That's what it is. So questions about this? No? No questions? Okay. Um, let's do something. I think that most of you are right here today. So I'm going to, uh, so I'm going to start, uh, I'm gonna take the attendance right now. Uh, you know, so we just check it out right here, okay? All right, I'm gonna call your name and if you're here, just say I'm here or present, okay? So I'm gonna go with Aaron, Omar. I'm here. Thank you so much. Um, Ada Lisette. Ana Beatriz. Okay, Ana and uh, Noemi. No, sorry, Ana Esmeralda. Okay, gracias, Mami. Thank you. <laughs> Ana Esmeralda? Present. Thank you so much. Then let's go with Carlos Vladimir. Here. Thank you. Consuelo del Rosario? Present. Okay, thank you. Let's go with Elida Maritza. Flor de María. Present. Eh, Jasmine Magdalena. Joana Guadalupe. Present. Right. Okay, give me a second here. Let's see. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to check the chat as well, if you guys are there. Uh, Jonathan Alexander. Present. Jose Ismael. I'm here, Preston. Thank you. Jose Salvador. Uh, I'm here. Catherine Tatiana. Here. Kenny Guadalupe. I'm here. Marilyn Yvonne. Presente. Marlene Concepcion. Presente. Marvin Omar. Presente. 
Uh, Nidia Jamilet. Present. Uh, Nixia. Present. Omar Lozardo. Been here. Thank you. Rebecca Beatriz. Present. Okay. And then we go with um, Reina Lisette. Ricardo Alfonso. Mm, Rosario Cristabel. Present. Wilber, oh, sorry, Wilber Enrique. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Yesenia Abigail. Present. And Zelina Elizabeth. Present. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Thank you so much for helping me with the attendance. I really appreciate that. Okay, guys. So any questions so far? Any question that you have about this and this? No sé si um, tienen alguna pregunta, algo que les haya parecido curioso o que de repente digan, teacher, mire, yo aquí no entendí bien, muy bien, muy bien qué era, por qué this y por qué that, o, perdón, this o this. Uh -huh. No? Okay. Well, if you don't have any question, now I'm going to tell you. So one thing that you have to know is, for example, you can have a question like, what's this, right? Que sería como decir, what is this? And the answer, it can be, uh, it can be something like, it's a, uh, and then just say it. Okay, but... I can also ask you, like, what are this? Dice, teacher, pero por qué está usando are ahí? Que no es is lo que tenemos que usar. Okay, why am I using that? Um, that is because... This Porque is uno es singular y el otro es plural. Good. Yes, exactly. It's because of that. Y como sabemos que la forma plural del verbo to be es are, no es is, right? So that's why, what are this? Entonces, if I say, um, imagínense que tengo dos lápices aquí, okay? <laughs> Así. <laughs> so yo les pregunto, what are this? ¿Cómo me responderían? What are this? Mm -hmm. These are things. Okay. Mm -hmm. It can be, but if you are holding them in your hand. But we can use, actually, a subject. To say that, what are these? Then you can say, they are, and then you can say like, pencils, for example. Okay, they are pencils. Yes, we can use they ref uh, to refer to things. Si, sí, podemos usar they para uh, referirnos a cosas en plural. Okay. Sé que significa ellos, pero we can use it like that. Okay? That's something that I wanted to say. Okay. Uh, Una consulta. Yes, Una tell, consulta. Me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Eh, y, si, y si se contesta, eh, these are two pencils, ¿no está bien? They can understand, and it's okay, but it's not like the correct way to say it. Es que sería... Si usted los tiene en sus manos, así le dice, estos son lápices. Ahí sí. Ok, si los tiene así en sus manitas. Eh, sí se puede responder así. Pero it's not like the best way. It's not the best way to do it. But you can do it. However, okay. I will suggest you to use this way. To use it, I mean, to use or to go this way. For example, it's much better because you're being clear and you're not sounding that basic. So you're going to be going up in the level if you say it this way. Mm -hmm. So that's that's what it is. Okay. okay, okay. Uh-huh. Good, good. Questions about that, guys? No? Yes? Okay. At the end, I hope we have time so we can just ask and answer questions. All right? So I hope we can uh, have time to, to do that. Okay, with that being said, now 
Let's go right now to the next is 25. Um, yes. Okay, let's go to the next to the next. Um, I was just checking the time. Let's go to the next uh part right here. Now you guys remember that yesterday we were talking about the just no questions, right? The just no questions with the verb to be. So that is something that we already know, right? For example, if I say um Okay, if I say Jose Salvador, if I say, um, are you a student? What can you answer? Mm -hmm. Answer. Um, yes, I'm a student. Yes, I am. Good thing. Yes, I am. Sí, una cosa. Eh, eh, muy bien, muy bien, Jose. Thank you. Cuando estamos dando respuestas afirmativas, en este caso para decir yes I am, es la única vez cuando no podemos contractar el I am, sino que tenemos que decirlo separado. No podemos decir yes am, ¿ok? It's the only time, es la única vez. It's the only time. No, okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, you're welcome. You're welcome. And thank you for saying that. I mean, we're good, we're good. We're learning, ¿ok? So, yes, that's the only thing, guys. Y eso es para todos. Um, de verdad, es, es la única vez donde no podemos hacer una contracción con el verbo to be, con el I y el verbo to be. That's the only time, okay? So keep that in mind, please. All right? So that's the only time. Okay. Now, if I ask you, for example, Joana Guadalupe, are you happy today? Are you happy? Yes, I am. Yes, I am, right? Good job. So if I ask you, um, let's see. Da -da 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 uh, Nidia Jamilet. Is Joana Guadalupe happy today? Yes, he. Yes, she is. Good job. Yes. Yes, she is. Muy bien. ¿Y por qué she? Porque estoy hablando, le estoy preguntando de ella. ¿eh? Eh, no me va a decir, yes, I am, but, porque no, no es con usted, es con ella, right? It's about her. Good job. Muy buen, muy buena, muy bien, muy bien. All right, so, yes, that's what we have to do, okay? So then I can ask, Jonathan Guillén, um, are you a teacher? Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Good job. Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to ask to Nixia. Nixia, is Jonathan Guillén a teacher? No. Um, he's not. Good job. Yes, not. He is not. Yes, you got it. Ajá, y como estamos hablando de he, de él, entonces por eso me dijo, he's not, right? Muy bien, me llega, como dicen ahí. <ríe> sí, entonces eso es bien importante. Tenemos que saber por qué nos están preguntando. So, así vamos a responder de esa forma, ¿ok? So, we have to know, um, you know, what they're asking us for. And so, we're going to reply that way, ¿ok? Pretty good. I don't think we have a question uh, about the uh, just now questions, but I don't know. So, algo que todavía no esté como muy claro, chicos, sobre las just no questions with the bird to be pueden preguntarme you can ask me right now oh, and in this case can i say in yes she is no only yes in what is. question when i answer and for example like a uh, nature with i don't know with the um a male mm -hmm. when i answer the question uh yeah you can use the subject like if i ask you catherine is jonathan guillen a teacher contract. what can it's you say contract. yeah you can use contractions yes mm -hmm. or no if i want to say uh, if, I, if I don't want to say if you don't want to say it you don't say it you uh, can do okay. it or not it's your decision mm -hmm. okay Thank yes you. so you Thanks. can use it if you want both just when you say I am that's the only time when you are not going to uh, 
I would say use contraction when you are giving an answer to that. Ok, so esa es la única vez cuando no podemos usar contraction sería cuando usted dé una respuesta diciendo yes I am. Ahí no podemos decir yes am, ok, sino que sería yes I am. Pero de ahí con todo lo demás usted puede o no puede usar contra contractions y it's up to you. It depende de usted. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Nixia, tell me, what's your question? O sea que solo las preguntas afirmativas son las que se pueden mm, contestar sin contractar. No, solo cuando usted responde, si sí, yo soy, ahí no uh -huh. puede usar contracción. Solo en ese caso, cuando es, okay. yes, I am. Uh -huh. ¿En las negativas? Yes, you can use contraction. Yes, for example... Are, I will say, are you a teacher? Then you can say, yes, I am. Pero no puede decir, yes, am. Solo en este caso específico, cuando le están preguntando por usted. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just in that case. All right. So that's what it is. Uh huh. Um, all right, so let's do something. Let me play the video right here and let's watch it, okay? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes, no, and where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a Can you hear that? Yes? Cool. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Audio program, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no, where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See, no problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm, no, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen. In order to form yes or no questions, we're going to follow the next formula. Verb to be plus this, or in this case could be these, plus some kind of complement. So, verb to be plus subject plus complement. In this case, we want to say that the subject is uh, this or these. So, let's try to make some examples. As you can see on the screen, the example is this your wallet. We have the verb to be. In this case, happens to be is. And then we're going to use this. The complement in this case is your wallet. And then, of course, we put a question mark there. Um, the other example that you see on the screen, are these your keys? Uh, we have a verb to be. These. Your keys. And, of course, we put a question mark at the end. All right. Just one more thing. And this is what we were talking about yesterday, right? It's about a structure that we have to have the verb to be at the beginning when it's a question, okay? Y si vamos a hacer preguntas con this y this, entonces ahí nosotros usamos esos dos. Eso sería la segunda cosa y el tercera sería the complement. So, is this your wallet? For example, I can ask, um, I can ask uh, to Consuelo, is this your cell phone mm -hmm. is this your cell phone and it's a yes. question uh-huh um this uh, my cell phone okay okay we'll check the answer right now okay and we will see how how we can answer that okay but what i want you to know is that we can ask the questions like this okay so then the complement, we can change it. 
en, otro, en pocas palabras, aprendámonos esta parte acá y el complemento al final lo cambiamos por lo que nosotros queramos. ¿va? Is this your cell phone? Is this your wallet? Is this your backpack? Is this your computer? Is this, um, I don't know, your house? Is this your car? So, lo mismo, ven, y al final solo vamos a ir cambiando el complemento. Y vean, chicos, um, en estos casos es prácticamente aprenderse la estructura, ¿ok? Si usted se aprende la estructura de una cosa, ya después no se le va a complicar nada más, ¿ok? Entonces, ya vamos a ver cómo podemos responder estas preguntas también, ¿ok? So, um, we're going to get there. So, let me just um, continue with the video. Let me give a couple of more examples. Is this your cell phone? Question mark at the end. Are these your things? In order to answer this type of questions, you're typically going to answer with, yes, it is, no, it's not. If it's plural, for example, yes, they are, no, they're not. Now that we understand yes or no questions with B, let's explore WH questions with B. Okay, before we continue there, I want to tell you this, entonces, tenemos que fijarnos, chicos, acá, si nos están preguntando por algo en plural o en singular, ¿ok? Y pueden decir, teacher, pero mire, es que this y this suenan lo mismo para mí. Ok, está bien, yo lo entiendo, suenan lo mismo, perfecto. Pero, ¿cómo podemos darnos cuenta de, que, de hacer la diferencia? Cuando están usando this y cuando están usando this. ¿Quién me dice? Who can tell me? Uh -huh. Eh, cuando se usa this es porque es singular, sí, singular. Uh -huh. This es plural. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, we're getting there. Yes, we're getting there. And that is, what need, uh -huh. that is what we need to talk about. That's what we need to focus on. So, so guys. Cuando estén usando this singular, van a usar is. Entonces, yo ahí automáticamente caigo que me están preguntando por una cosa. Is this your wallet? Y entonces, ahí es donde usted va a responder entonces de la misma forma. You can say, yes, it is, o no, it's not. Y si me están preguntando por una cosa, tengo que usar el pronombre, the pronoun it. So, yes, it is, o no, it's not. Right? And in the other case, if somebody's asking me something in plural, they are, they are going to use are. Are these your keys? Yes, they are. Or no, they are not. Okay? So you guys have to use the pronoun they when they are asking you for plural things. Okay? So that is what we need to do. Are they your keys? For example... Are they, um, you, I'm sorry, are these your shoes? Then you can say, yes, they are, or no, they're not. That's what it is. Is it clear? Are we clear with that? Kind of question? Solo, solo algo más que quería agregar. Tell me, tell me. Entonces, en la contestación afirmativa siempre es, yes, it is no puede ser eh, contractado tampoco. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Yes, it can't be like that. Mm -hmm. Because um, this is the, the, I would say the exception, but using this. La excepción que vimos anteriormente era solo haciendo uh, just now questions con el verbo to be. Pero ahora aquí estamos incluyendo this. Y muy bien, Aaron, good job. Good job for noticing that. So in this case, yes, you can't contract it. In negative, yes, but not in affirmative. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
Anything else? Gracias, gracias. Mm -hmm. Any other question? No. Are we good? Okay. So, if I ask you right now, Carlos Vladimir Mendoza Rivera, is this your cell phone? No, it's, no, it's not. Good job. Okay. And if I ask you, for example, Ana Flores, is this... My cell phone? Ana Flores, hello, hello. Are you here with us? No. Ada said, is this my cell phone? No. Okay. So what happened? Okay. So, uh, let's see. Nixia. Yo vi que levantó la manita. Nixia. So, is this my cell phone? Yes, it is. Yes, it yes. is. Good job. Okay. And if I ask, uh, let's see. Marilyn, Yvonne. Aquí tengo a la par mía a Omar Luzardo. Le pregunto a usted, Marilyn. Is this his mouse? Uh, yes, they are your mouse. It's just one thing. It's singular. Okay? It's singular. Is this... Listen. Is this his mouse? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Me está mintiendo porque no te... <laughs> okay, yeah, but that's the way it goes, okay? Or you can say in a negative way. Y si respondemos negativamente, ¿cómo sería? No, it's not. No, it's not. That's what it is, okay? So questions about that, guys? No? All right, let's finish watching this video right here. We're going to follow... A similar rule for WH questions. Let me go ahead and put that on the screen. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus complement. The rule is very simple and it's quite similar as making yes or no questions. The only difference is that now we are adding a WH word. Just check the check. So what are WH words? Let me explain. We use WH words to get information from others. For example, who, what, when, where, how, why are some examples of WH words. Now let's put that rule into practice. If we look at um, the example on the chart, right? We can see the question towards the right hand side. It says, where is your wallet? So if we follow that rule, we're going to put a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of complement wallet. And of course, we put a question mark there. Where is your wallet? Where are my keys? How are you today? Why are you hungry? Where is the police station? To answer WH questions, you now need to give information. For example, for the question, where is your wallet? Notice that the answer is it's in my pocket. And also, all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago. Now, it's your turn to make as many examples as possible. Practice making yes or no questions and WH questions. You should answer those questions as well. The more you practice, the easier this topic will become for you. Okay, guys. So, that's what I was telling you right here. 
one thing is that it and will I be just says, a little where is and also. also and also all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago right we can see okay the question towards the right hand side is what samples of w Wait right i just want to wallet right here so if we follow we can hungry, just right here okay now one thing i want you to know guys now these are called wh questions because they have wh words at the beginning Okay, ¿y por qué se llaman WH questions? Se llaman WH questions porque llevan palabras de WH al principio. Okay, for example, WH, 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 W and H, and WH. Okay, that's why they are called WH questions. They are also known as, um, they are also known as, a, how do we call them? Um, information questions why because you need to provide more information right here the answer will vary and as just no questions nosotros podemos dar dos tipos de respuestas yes and no y esa es la diferencia and that's the difference between just no questions and wh questions okay so and just no questions the answer the answers are just yes or no that's it nothing else but in wh questions you have you have to give more information vamos a dar más información ahí no vamos si yo le pregunto cómo está usted ahora no me va a decir yes i am no va a decir sí no right so por es lo mismo entonces acá how are you today cómo responden I'm fine. I'm doing great, right? So far, so good. I'm doing great myself. Whatever you guys answer. Entonces, esa es la diferencia entre las dos tipos de preguntas con el verbo to be. Okay, una vez establezcamos eso, once we know that, we establish all that, then let's continue with what we call this structure. So, we need the WH word at the beginning, then we need the verb to be, Ok. ¿Y cómo sabemos qué forma del verbo to be vamos a usar? Bueno, depende del subject. It depends on the subject that we are going to use, right? Eso lo vimos yesterday, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. So, and then we will need the complement. For example, where is your wallet? Mm -hmm. A ver. Where is your wallet? Es como decir, ¿dónde, dónde está tu cartera? ¿Quién me hace una pregunta diciendo dónde están tus carteras? ¿Cómo sería? Uh -huh. Volunteers. What are your wallet? Once again, repeat, please. Where is your wallet? That is singular, but I want it in plural. In plural. Carteras, por carteras. ¿Dónde están mis carteras? Where is your wallet? Mm -hmm. Eso sería, where, where are your, your wallets? Wallets, plural. Entonces, la palabra wallet tiene que ser plural. Wallets, carteras. Porque si no diríamos, ¿dónde están tus carteras? Mm -hmm. So, we have to make it plural. Where are your wallets? Okay. So that's what we need to do, okay? And pay attention to the structure, you know, WH word, where to be, the subject, and the complement. And of course, the question mark. Questions about that, guys? Preguntas? No? No questions? Solo una consulta. Tell me. Why is, por qué, y what is, qué, qué. así es, ok. Sí, okay. es que me, me confundo un poco. <laughs> ok, ok, no problem, no problem. Yeah, that's ok, it's ok. It's just a matter of, of learning that. But, but yeah, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Ok, any other question, guys? 
buena pregunta. Eh, why lo vamos a usar es porque pero ese lo utilizamos nada más en pregunta. Questions, yes. Because es por qué, pero ese es en respuesta. Respuesta. Mm -hmm. Hey, good job. Oh, okay. Yes, that's what it is. So why yes. is for questions, okay? And because it's for answers, okay? So, why are you here? ¿Por qué estás aquí? Why are you here? Ah, because I have classes, for example. Porque tengo clases, okay? It's just an example, right? Just an example, like... I can say something like, uh, why are you here? And then you can say, because I have classes or whatever you want to say, okay? So that's, uh, that's what it is right there, okay? So, um, all right, so any question about that? Any other question? No? Are we good? Solo un, una, una consulta nada más. Tell me, tell me. En algunas películas, eh, eso es lo verás en inglés, dicen for what. For what? Pues, for what, o sea, por qué. Es yes. Normal eso. It's informal, but yes, it is, it's, it's, it's okay. I mean, it's okay, but it's informal. For what? Mm -hmm. Just so you know, también algunas veces, en lugar de decir... Because, van a decir, cause. Cause. But it's informal. It's informal. It's not formal at all, okay? So, they can also say cause. Why are you here? Because I need, because I, because I have some classes. Because I have some classes. It's like the way it goes. Like, let's like, just make it short, you know? Es como, es como nosotros cuando acortamos las palabras también. So, the same thing. Mm -hmm. No se me ocurre ningún ejemplo, pero sé que tenemos varios. Por <laughs> uh, ejemplo, sometimes decimos, voy a ir. O sea, voy a ir. <laughs> sometimes, right? So, voy a ir a hacer tal cosa. But we say, we say it that way. Es lo mismo. Ellos hacen lo mismo también. So, they do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So, that's what it is. Uh, pero es informal. Ok, eh, siempre y cuando puedan evitar usarlo, a menos que estén ahí con sus amigos, ahí sí vea. Pero esto es formal and this is informal. Ok, all right. Eh, well, were you able to do the knowledge check? Did you complete it? Yes? Questions about that? Yes, mm -hmm. ¿Cómo les fue? How was it? Was it good? Yeah? Uh, confused. <laughs> confusing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Probably we will have some time to make it together, but before we do that, I like to go and check the next topic. The next, the next topic that we have, it's actually the prepositions. Okay. Now these prepositions are kind of easy as well. Y aquí vamos, vamos a usar la palabra, the WH word, where. Okay. So let me play the video here. Hi, everyone. Okay. Let's watch the video and then I'm going to give some explanation, okay? One. In this class, you'll learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. You'll learn the prepositions in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. Next one. Where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? You can see the keys are behind the box. Keys are behind the box. Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. The keys are 
on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The keys are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers, just like we did a minute ago. Then I would like for you to share your work in our discussion. Are the keys. Okay, now let me just. Uh, show something. I don't think we need this right here. Uh, okay, let me just show you this right here. Okay, this part is what we need. Okay, uh, it actually says here, and if you guys can see, it's talking about in, uh, which is the prepositions, prepositions in the article, de. Now, de means la or el, or las, or los, right, de. But nos ayuda a definir, okay, it's a definite article. Para saber de qué estamos hablando, ¿ok? Es de. Ojo, la pronunciación es de. No va a ser da, ¿ok? De. De cell phone. De keys. Hay una excepción que se pronuncia di, pero es solo si la siguiente palabra comienza con vocal. Por ejemplo, uh, talking about... Ok. The apple is on the table. That's the only case. Aquí si no decimos de, si no decimos the. The apple, why? Porque comienza con a. En esos casos sí vamos a decir the. Pero aparte de eso va a ser de. Solo de, 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 de y de. Así como decimos de in the Spanish. Same thing. Okay? Just so you know that. But I want to explain something else here. And guys, basically... Um, what we have is that about the prepositions, okay? Like, eh, aquí miren, vamos a hacer las mismas WH questions que estábamos haciendo. Ahora, si yo le pregunto acá, uh, okay, uh, let's see, where, um, where are the cell phones, okay? Then you can say, it's just a typos here, where? Then you can say, the cell phones are next to, in front of, y ahí me dice, ¿dónde están? Y si ustedes pueden ver, cabal acá nos podemos ver, nos podemos dar cuenta. In es como dentro, in front of, enfrente, behind, like atrás, right? On, right? Mm. So, okay. Next to, a la par. And under, debajo, right? That's what it is. Yeah. So then if I tell you, where are the cell phones? Uh, you can say the cell phones are under the table. Just an example. Si usted quiere hacerlo de la forma larga, pero si de repente usted no, teacher, mire, yo quiero hacerlo corto. Me puede decir, they are... For example, uh, behind the sofa. Okay? So, yes, you can make it short. Así que si pueden hacerlo corto, pueden usar they. Si quieren hacerlo aún más corto, pueden contactar acá. They are. You can say, they're behind the sofa. Mm -hmm. Lo mismo. Um, oops, typos here. Um, we can do the same way. With um, singular, for example, uh, I would say, where is the wallet? Where is the wallet? Then you can say, the wallet is uh, next to the TV. Or you can say, it's next to the uh, what? Uh, I don't know, I just next to the desk. 
I was <laughs> next to the the chair. The chair. Next to the chair. Okay. So you can say it is. So that's basically, basically what it is. So questions about that, guys? Mm -hmm. No sé si tuvieron si pudieron completar esa parte del uh, knowledge check también. O si tienen alguna pregunta sobre eso. I don't know if you were able to check that out. No? Consulta. Ah, te amo. En eh, el caso de número dos, eh, yo en el audio escucho The DVD player is next to the television. Uh -huh. Y pero me sale incorrecto. Entonces, ¿me escucho mal o...? o el número o, dos. O... The DVD player is next to the television or let's see if we can just say tv um yeah next to next to the tv mm -hmm. so it's okay probablemente ahí uh, habrá faltado la t o tal vez estábamos uh, misspelling television let's see if it works like this um, también intento con TV, pero no me salía bien. Podrá haber sido, le faltaba la T probablemente en Next, o bueno, um, try once again, saying TV, and let's see if it works. Sí, pero me lo puso buena de las dos formas, con TV, TV o Television, o probablemente le faltó D, Next to D television mm -hmm. check it out check it out and then you let me know mm -hmm. any yes. other question guys no but miren eh, yo sé que eh, esta semana lo hicimos con un poquito corriendo porque tuvimos la clase introductoria eh, eh, y perdimos, uh, no perdimos pero si sí nos gastamos un poquito de tiempo pero la siguiente semana estaríamos trabajando chicos con la sección 3 ok Así que eh, si de, de, ya pueden comenzar a ver los videos y comenzar a trabajar en esto, that's much better. Así ya vamos resolviendo más dudas, eh, digamos, más rápido las dudas que ustedes puedan tener, ¿verdad? So, that's what it is, guys. So, bueno, si no tienen ninguna pregunta, chicos, los voy a dejar ir. Igual tengo otra clasecita por ahí. Eh, pero eh, acuérdense, traten de completar esto. Please, tienen hasta tomorrow midnight para tener up to the 80%, okay? So please try to complete that, guys. So if you guys don't have any question, I mean, you can disconnect right now. Any other question before we go? No? No question. Thank you, guys. So, guys, I see you, um, I see you next week, okay? You guys take care, enjoy your weekend, okay. all right? Have a nice weekend. Thank you guys. Bye bye. You guys okay. take care. Goodbye. Bye. Good bye. Nice. Nice weekend, everybody. Guys. Bye. Have a great weekend. Bye bye, guys.